friends, how are you? Nice to be back, long time no see. I'm going to talk about my property in Bulgaria, which I would like to sell. Very cheap, it's open to offers. As a guide, around about 8,000 euros, not pounds. It needs between nine and 10,000 euros spending on it to make it livable because I owned it for about 10 years and for five years I couldn't go out due to ill health. But it's only gonna cost a reasonable amount of money to fix, as I said. And labor is about 25 euros a day in Bulgaria and it's still cheap for materials and everything. And none of the work is difficult except maybe the roof. Half the roof is a little bit down and needs half taken off some new beams putting in and replacing. The, t the roof tiles are still reusable. They're quite good. So, there you go. I've shown on the video the very worst way of looking at the property as I could. So you see it in its worst light. And therefore you cannot go out there and say, oh, it's not what we expected. Because what you see in this video is what you see over there. The property because I bought it 10 years ago, what you have to do over in Bulgaria in those days, you set up a limited company and the limited company owns the property. And whoever has 100% of the shares owns the property. So transferring the shares over, you take over the company, it costs you about 500 euros in lawyer's costs, done in two days, and that's it. After five years of owning the property, you can do away with the limited company and just have the property as an outright ownership. But um, I personally would keep the limited company because if you ever want to do a little business out there to earn a living, it's useful to have. Plus, it's cheaper to pay the company taxes every year, which is about 50 euros, than it is to pay house taxes. So it makes common sense. The property has plumbing inside, I've done the plumbing. Um, the electricity, well, they've had to take the electric box out because in the time I neglected it, unfortunately, um, the, some of the wiring's fallen out, but it's a two day job to have it put back in. Very little formalities. The electricity runs to the box at the bottom of the garden. It's just the clock they've taken out, which they'll put back because it's a local community thing. So no problem with that either. Water comes from the well, and he's putting in a pipe and the pump. You need to put a cesspit or septic tank, plastic tank. That's not expensive. But most of the work, it really is superficial. Plastering, stuff like this. And the garden I've chopped down, as <laughs> you see in the video, it's, it's not a garden, it's a jungle, but there's a lot of it. There's, there's easily about, I don't know, seven or six or seven hundred square meters. It's a lot of land and you can have a small hole in there. It's agricultural land as well and it grows brilliantly. The house papers and everything is totally legal and you have no problems there either. You're only, what, 20 minutes on the Black Sea beach? Uh, or six minutes from a small beach along the road. The town of Rosen is just down the road, five minutes, and the city of Bourges is 25 minutes up the road. So you have everything to hand. It's peaceful, it's quiet. Your neighbors don't bother you because they've got big plots of land as well, so they're nowhere near you. It's not a posh area. It's just normal people, and it's very, very pleasant. This, ha this house, you know, when you see the video you think oh my god but i've taken properties that are 10 times worse than this and i've renovated them on my own here in corfu so to me it's not a lot of work it's a lot of work sorry it is a lot of work but not expensive so anyway watch the video and if you're interested you've got my email address you can get it very easily and just send me a line drop me a line so Thanks for watching. Now, one other thing while I'm on. It's Christmas is coming. And I want to talk about these blasty charities that are always asking you for money on the, inter on the television. Three quid here, three quid there for tigers and lions and crap like that. 
and they'll send you a cuddly toy which you've paid for and the directors of the company all on quarter million quid salaries if you're planning to um, sort of thinking of doing any donations this year why not think of the Salvation Army because they do a lot more good in the UK and the charity should start at home I believe than any other people asking you for money give the Salvation Army a thought their little brass bands that they I don't know if they still do it I've not been to England in 30 years but their little brass bands used to make Christmas for me sitting there in the freezing cold going boom 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 <laughs> anyway give it a thought thanks for watching here comes the video cheers Well, made a good start the other day before I had to stop. But uh, that tree is coming down. And the path is cleared. So we've done so far, which I'm happy with. Today we're going to try and clear all that from the bottom end and then start up there. But this is what five years of neglect of a property can do. Well, there we are. Some of the wood. And here we go. The end of day two. We're about to start day three. We've cut down that tree half. As you can see now. It's fairly clear, but it'll be finished today. Well, here we are again, back to the place of torture. That's all cut, as best I'm going to do it. Pardon? As you can see, this is what we've cut off there. <laughs> I didn't quite get in that corner coming down. <sighs> and the jungle has gone. As you can see, the poor old house has unfortunately deteriorated drastically in my absence. There's the land over there. It's quite a big piece of land, this, you know. And considering what it's for sale for, nice load of logs for logging, for the fire. This is the back of the house. Beautiful house. Well, Used to be top end of the garden. I'm sure you've already seen this. Steps going down. This pathway goes to the bathroom. Uh, 
a minor crack in the plaster to rent out. Cutting this tree down, maybe next trip. Bathroom. Unfortunately, we've got sticky ivy growing. I'll have to bring a blowtorch and get rid of that. That's where the hot water boil is going to go. This is all beautifully done. Tiled. Shower. No toilet. Such a shame. It's what you get for neglecting a place for five years. It's going to be the kitchen. Was. Ceilings in. It's coming over there for taps. The steps. To the upstairs. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the pen. Here's the room where the roof has come in. But what can I do? Brand new roof, completely overall, would be about 4,000 euros. Outside patio upstairs. This is the other room. Not a lot wrong with this room. Oh, it is. Again, ceilings in. I'll rent this one out. I'll pay somebody 50 less to live here. <laughs> there you have it. Cheers.